ପହଞ୍ଚିବା Madali pa rin namang bumili ng sasakyan sa Pilipinas kasi hindi pa requirement ang pagkakaroon ng hayop na sex appeal tulad ko. Para may nagre-reklamo. <laughs> Not necessarily din na ang pagkakaroon ng malupit na bank account dahil basta kaya nyo hulugan, go na yan. At wala din naman sa presyo ang pagkakaroon ng quality na auto. Akalain yung hindi na kailangan umabot ng 1.2 million pesos sa isang price tag para masabing meron kayong matinong sasakyan. Lalo na kung isasakay nyo ang pamilya o kung balak nyo palang gumawa ng pamilya. I'm Stanley Chi and this is Phil Koch's top list of budget-friendly family vehicles that you can buy for less than 1.2 million pesos. Before we start, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon below and be the first to see our latest video content. At para lagi kayong updated sa full specs, latest pricing at news tungkol sa mga tampok na kotse rito, don't forget to check out our Phil Kotse Car Guide. Just click the link in the description below. Itong compilation namin ay binubuo hindi lang ng Japanese nameplates kundi pati ng Chinese brands. Kaya naman Asian special ang usapan natin in this episode. Uy, Asian sensation. I like that. Let's start with the Chinese automakers comprising Photon, Haima, Aichen, and Maxus. Buena mano natin ang Photon View Transvan sa halagang 1,128,000 pesos. Available in two variants yan, isang 13-seater at isang 15-seater. As far as people carriers go, medyo basic ang amenities ng Transvan sa loob. Pero kasya naman ang isang buong basketball team. Isama nyo pa ang coaching staff. It's still equipped with front and rear air conditioning, power windows, power door locks, plus USB and auxiliary input for audio. May throwback pang CD player na kasama. Pang malakasan naman ang 2.8 liter common rail turbo diesel engine nito. Sumisipa ng 94 horsepower at 225 newton meters of torque kapartner ng 5-speed manual transmission. Next are two vehicles from Haima. The first one is the V70 multipurpose vehicle or MPV. Tulad ng Transvan, dalawa rin ang variants ito. Yung Comfort, priced at 739,000 pesos at yung Deluxe na nagkakahalaga ng 949,000 pesos. Affordable, di ba? Ang seating capacity nito, up to 7 occupants. Ano pa ba ang makikita sa Haima V70? May LED exterior lighting, lalo na sa daytime running lights at rear lights. Boneless ang wiper, parang bangus. At may available na power sunroof. Automatic ang air conditioning with dust and pollen filter. 12.3 inches ang multimedia touchscreen at may SD card slot pa. Kumpleto ang seatbelts at may anti-lock brakes bukod pa sa traction control. Hail start assist at cruise control. Turbocharged ang 1.5 liter gasoline engine nito, rated at 156 horsepower at 220 newton meters of torque. Terno sa 6-speed automatic transmission. Yung isa pang Haima, ang 7X. Yung mga naghahanap ng sariwa dyan. Hmm, sariwa. <laughs> Ito ang pinakabagong MPV ng Haima sa Pilipinas. 1,199,000 pesos ang presyo, sakto sa price limit. 1.5 liter turbo din ang makina tulad ng V70 with a higher output at 162 horsepower and 240 newton meters of torque paired with an automatic gearbox. Leather pang seat sa loob at high-tech ang digital instrument cluster. 12.3 inches din ang touchscreen infotainment unit with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi reception pa. Dumako naman tayo sa Kai Chen, umpisa sa Honor S MPV that retails for between 515,000 pesos and 585,000 pesos, making it the most affordable model in this list. Mabibili ito in either 7 or 8-seater model at kung mapapansin ninyo, medyo mataas ang itsura sa labas. Ang resulta niyan, magandang space sa loob, especially when it comes to headroom. Malakas ang aircon kaya komportable naman para sa 7 occupants pero medyo generic ang touchscreen monitor. At least, malaki. Android pang operating system at pwedeng i-connect sa mobile hotspot. As far as powertrain goes, the Honor S runs on a 1.5 liter gasoline engine with 104 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque. 5-speed ang manual transmission at rear wheel ang drivetrain. Kahit hindi judge ang trabaho nyo, pwede pa rin kayong sabihan ng your honor kapag tinuro ang sasakyan ninyo. <laughs> Meron ding CX-70, ang pinaka... Ano yun? Ba't kinatawa? <laughs> Meron ding CX-70, ang pinaka-batang masasakyan ninyo sa lineup ng Kai Chen. Pinaka-bata. 
Level up ang itsura at features kumpara sa Honor S. Dapat lang naman, siguro dahil sa 879,000 pesos asking price ito. Parang SUV ang datingan ng forma. May available sunroof pa para makapasok ang natural light sa loob kung saan up to 7 occupants ang kasya. Kapag nakatiklop ang second and third row seats, halos 4,000 liters of space for cargo ang kapalit. May 8-inch touchscreen pa for communications and multimedia. Turbocharged ang 1.5-liter gasoline engine ng CX-70, good for 148 horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque. Rear wheel ang drivetrain at 6-speed automatic with manual mode ang gearbox. The last of our Chinese entries is courtesy of Maxus with the G50 Comfort and Pro that retails for 948,000 pesos and 1 million 179,000 pesos respectively. Sa Comfort, 1.3 liter 3 cylinder gasoline turbo ang makina with 163 horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque on top, mated to a 5 speed manual transmission. Ang Pro naman, 1.5 liter 4 cylinder turbo ang power unit with direct injection, good for 169 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque, partnered with a 7 speed dual clutch transmission. Kasya hanggang walo sa loob at may rear vents kahit manual ang air conditioning. Standard radio tuner with USB port sa Comfort. 8-inch touchscreen naman ang sa Pro. Pareho silang may dual airbags, seat belts on all seating rows, rear parking sensors at tire pressure monitoring system. Exclusive naman sa Pro ang reverse camera, cruise control at keyless entry. Uy, munting patalastas lang. If you want the hottest promos and deals for brand new cars in the Philippines, punta na sa failcoche.com. Sing init ko mga offers doon at garantisadong makikita mo ang affordable dream car mo. Dahil tapos na tayo sa Chinese brands, eto naman ang kilala nating Japanese automakers. We start with the BRV from Honda, priced from 1 million 48,000 pesos for the S variant to 1 million 168,000 pesos for the V variant. MPV rin ito ah, pero SUV ang forma. Up to 7 occupants ang kasya sa loob at syempre dahil Honda, flexible ang seating configuration. 7 inches ang touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto na. For power, the Honda BRV relies on a 1.5-liter iVTEC engine putting out 118 horsepower and 145 newton meters of torque, mated to a continuously variable transmission with paddle shifters. Kung hindi nyo pa alam, parating na ang all-new BRV dito sa Pilipinas. Abang-abang lang kayo sa updates namin. Next, ang Mitsubishi Expander priced from 1 million and 8,000 pesos to 1 million 180,000 pesos. Kahit wala ng sub 1 million na variant ang MPV na ito, hot seller pa rin siya ng Mitsubishi. In fact, ito ang highest selling model ng Mitsubishi Motors Philippines for 2021 with 37,548 units rolling off the showrooms. Retailing na ang refreshed version ng Expander sa dealerships featuring an updated front and rear design, increased ground clearance, and revised dashboard. Standard na ang Apple CarPlay na Android Auto sa touchscreen infotainment display nito at electronic na ang parking brake. Improved na rin ang suspension despite the increased ride height. Check out our first look at the refreshed Mitsubishi Expander dito sa channel namin. May tatlo naman tayong featured models from Suzuki. Ang auto brand na kilala sa paggawa ng cute na cute na subcompact at K-cars. Meron ding pambato sa 7-seater category. First up, the APV that has a price tag starting at 733,000 pesos all the way up to 875,000 pesos. Medyo may edad na pero viable option pa rin naman para sa mga naghahanap ng family ride. GA and GLX ang available variants nito. Kahon na kahon ng itsura, parang lalagyan ng tinapay. Pero up to 8 occupants ang kayang isakay ha. May 8-inch infotainment system with Bluetooth, USB, auxiliary input at navigation. 180mm ang ground clearance, pwede nang isabak sa mababaw na baha. 1.6 liter gasoline ang makina, good for 91 horsepower and 127 newton meters of torque with 5-speed manual transmission. Standard sa APV ang dual airbags, anti-lock brakes at seat belts for all seating rows. For the GLX, may kasamang reverse sensor at side impact beams. Ang susunod na Suzuki ang Ertiga MPV. Nakakadalawang generations na ito with the current one priced from 853,000 pesos to 1 million and 3,000 pesos. 7-seater naman ang Ertiga at talaga namang utilitarian ang feature set. Hindi ganun ka-flashy pero alam nyong mapapakinabangan talaga. Para sa mga laging uhaw dyan, perfect ang ventilated cup holders nito sa front row 
para hindi uminit ang cold drinks ninyo sa biyahe. May 8-inch multimedia touchscreen sa harap with navigation pa at malaki ang cargo space sa likod. 1.5 liter gasoline engine ng gamit ng Ertiga. Good for 103 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque. Sabayan pa ng 5-speed manual or 4-speed automatic transmission. Ang matindi, napakatipid nito sa gasolina. Mm. Kung mas mapormang version ng Ertiga ang hanap nyo, andyan ang XL7 that retails for 1,138,000 pesos. Kahit base ito sa standard Ertiga, sabi ng Suzuki, More than 200 parts daw ang kaibahan nilang dalawa. Kasama na ang engine control module, body control module, suspension, pati hugis ng fuel tank. Basically, halos pareho naman in terms of interior and mechanics ang Ertiga at XL7. Pero ang labang ng XL7, meron na itong 10-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Pati yung instrument panel may bonus na information for G-Force, acceleration braking, and engine output. For safety, kasama na rin ang stability control at hill start assist sa XL7. Ang last manufacturer sa listang ito ay walang iba kundi ang number one sa Pilipinas, Toyota with four models to choose from. We start with the Avanza, priced from 813,000 pesos to 1 million and 3,000 pesos. Kung hindi nyo pa nababalitaan, new generation model na ito, redesigned at bago ang platform. Dahil hindi na siya rear-wheel drive, mas maluwag na ang interior space at kaya pa rin magsakay ng 7 occupants. Yung seats, pwedeng i-configure sa tinatawag na long sofa mode para mas madaling mag-relax habang nakapark. Available ang 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto Support. Hindi rin pauhuli ang avansa sa safety with driver assist features such as blind spot monitor at rear cross traffic alert apart from up to 6 airbags. Like the previous model, dalawa pa rin ang gasoline engine choices ng bagong Avanza. Isang 1.3 liter na good for 96 horsepower and 122 newton meters of torque at isang 1.5 liter rated at 104 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque. May request lang ako ah. Pwede bang kung bibili kayo ng Avanza, huwag niyong papangalan ng dingdong? Hmm? Tito Joseph ah, yung joke mo ah. <laughs> Next ang Innova, specifically ang J-Manual variant, priced at 1,186,000 pesos. Alam nyo naman siguro na puro diesel na ang mga Innova ngayon. And this entry-level variant is no exception with 2.8-liter turbo diesel unit capable of 168 horsepower and 343 newton meters of torque paired with a 5-speed manual transmission. Good for 8 occupants ang interior at pwedeng itiklo pang upuan kung marami kayong bit-bit na gamit. May cool box pang kasama na pwedeng lagyan ng pagkain sa biyahe. Hindi man touchscreen ng sound system, may Bluetooth, USB and auxiliary input naman para pwede pa rin kayong magpatugtog ng paro-paro G habang nagda-drive. Sample nga dyan, Tito Joseph. <laughs> Meron ding drive mode select between eco and power at standard equipment na ang stability control at hill start assist bukod pa sa 3 airbags, anti-lock brakes at seat belts. Ang susunod, the Toyota Rush with a price range starting from 983,000 pesos to 1,176,000 pesos. Mini SUV ang touring dito dahil sa ladder frame chassis nito. Kaya naman, napapanindigan talaga ng Rush ang SUV look niya. Buti na lang ginawa ng 7-seater ito ng Toyota across the range with a 7-inch touchscreen display compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. With 6 airbags, stability control, hill start assist, anti-lock brakes, and 7 seat belts, comprehensive ang safety features ng Rush. Pagdating sa makina, it runs on a 1.5 liter gasoline engine capable of 101 horsepower and 134 newton meters of torque, sending the output to the rear wheels through either a 5-speed manual or 4-speed automatic gearbox. Lastly, ang Toyota Veloz G variant. Mula sa pagiging top-spec variant ng dating Avanza, promoted na ang Veloz into a standalone model priced at 1,185,000 pesos. Pagdating sa platform at mechanicals, identical pa rin sila ng bagong Avanza, pero iba ang styling at amenities ng Veloz. Mas malaki yung instrument panel niya at 7 inches, kapartner ng 8-inch display audio with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Meron pang voice command. Available ang wireless charging for compatible smartphones at tatlo ang drive modes. Bukod sa 6 airbags, anti-lock brakes, and stability control, kasama rin ng G-variant ang rear cameras, rear sonar, at ang Toyota Vehicle Security System. 1.5 liter engine ang gamit ng Veloz G, good for 104 horsepower and 138 newton meters of torque with a continuously variable transmission. 
And that wraps up Phil Koch's list of budget-friendly family rides at less than 1.2 million pesos. This has been your host, Stanley Chin, yung senpai ng turbuhan na nagpapaalala sa inyong lahat na i-follow nyo ako sa mga social media accounts ko. Meron na YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Stanley Chi at ang aking podcast, Underpaid with Stanley Chi sa Spotify na Apple Podcast. So paano ba yan? Kita-kits tayo sa next video, dito lang sa Phil Koche. Bye-bye! Thanks for watching! For the latest news, reviews, and anything you want to know about cars and car ownership, visit philkoche.com. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Spotify para hindi ka huli sa usapan. Tandaan, kotse ba? Phil Kotse na!